God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, Send forth your truth into our hearts and pour over us the brightness of your light. Lord, send Send forth forth your your light light and and your your truth. truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep Keep us us safe safe all the days of our life. life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pray our vows, who, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas and the roaring of the waves and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, 
you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, hope of all the earth, hear the humble prayer of your children as we sing your praises. Pour out your Spirit on us, so that our lives may bear fruit abundantly. To you, O oh God, God, our, our praises praise due, due in, in Zion. Zion. Praised be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The Lord will help her, his loving presence will be with her, the Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. He dwells in her. She will not falter. His loving presence will be with her. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. At daybreak, Cecilia cried out, Come, soldiers of Christ, cast off the works of darkness and clothe yourselves in the armor of light. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has, he has come, come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy promise, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set, set us free, free from, from the hands of our enemies, enemies free, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, Cecilia cried out, Come, soldiers of Christ, cast off the works of darkness, and clothe yourselves in the armor of light. Our Savior's Faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embrace death in bearing witness for the faith. Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. For these things and the things we hold in our heart, we will now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia, grant, we pray, that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.